Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. We are back with another video with me, Mia Baker, and the wonderful Mac Boucher. Yeah, thanks for having me. All the Again. way from Canada. That's it. And he's now leaving since he's filmed his videos with me. He's going right back home. Yeah, Mia's driving me straight to the airport after this video. <laughs> he really hates to hear that much. Today's video is actually going to be a really fun one. It's an on course boot camp doing the kind of shots I have no freaking clue what to do when I'm on the course. We're talking driver off the deck. Why would I ever use that? I'm trying to sling it around a tree. I don't know how to do that. Well, I kind of secretly do, but I want to tell you guys how to do it because. I think that shot's actually become like a strength of yours. Oh, I've yeah. seen you hit a few the last little while, so that'll be good to explain why it's working for you, what you do yeah. to make it work. I'd like to do like plug flies, how to play it under the trees, how to play it over the trees. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a really good video and you're gonna learn a lot. I'm gonna learn a lot. Matt's gonna show us how to do it and it's gonna be fun. And if you guys have any questions of maybe shots that you struggle with for a future video, drop them in the comments and we can maybe do that for the next one. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, let's get on with the show. All right, so one issue I find myself in, which is often when I just hit the ball a little bit short, I get plugged onto the side of a bunker. The pin is there, I'm in the side, it's literally under the sand, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, so it's common on a new golf course or if they fix the sand at the golf course, put a little bit too much sand in and then you get the fried egg. It's mm. terrible. Get up there, you might be in a situation like that yeah. where you're fried, can't hit a normal bunker shot, so we're gonna go over a little trick that I like to do in this situation. You're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. You're gonna grab your 60 degree or your lob wedge or your most lofted club if you don't carry one of those. Okay. You're gonna close the face. Backwards. Pretty much so the what? toe of the club is pointing down. So it's almost gonna be like the back of the club is pointing directly in front of you. You have to trust me with this one. It's a little bit weird. Um, again, this isn't a terrible fried egg, so this should pop out pretty nicely. We're gonna aim left of the flag, okay. take a normal stance, nothing too crazy, shut the face and try to hit about an inch behind that ball. The whole idea with this is you're gonna hit a hit inch behind the ball, face is gonna shut, and it should come up pretty high and soft. So this would be really useful if you are fried up and need to get it to stop quick on a green and can't have it to release. So, close your face, take a nice big swing. What? The hell? I don't know what I just witnessed. How am I gonna do that? Mac, I've never seen that in my life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that was pathetic. Oh, good lord. That was worse than yours. Well, you better stuff it up. No, you have to do the other way. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, Mia just forgot that she's actually a right-handed golfer. <laughs> it's because you were let doing it left handed So funny. Right, so aim right, more right. Turn your whole, no, that's left. <laughs> Turn, like you're gonna, you're like you're a couple feet, yeah, like that. But, uh, yep, middle of the stance, ball's middle of your stance. So my foot That's is good. like yeah. right up here. That's fine. No? Yeah, close your face completely. Like you wanna have this thing like this. Oh my this. gosh, that feels like it's gonna hit. Trust me. Swing very hard and try to hit an inch behind the ball. Oh, it's gonna hit me. No, it won't, swing hard. Oh, that was really close. Guys, that was one almost shot. This could be it. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Okay. We're gonna do another one, because I think you can do two in a row, just to show it wasn't a fluke, but I, I want know. this to aim more right this time. So you're okay. gonna aim your feet more right. I wasn't even aiming in all honesty. Yeah, exactly, so aim tons more right. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's feeling strong. There we go. Oh my God. That, my friend, is a jolly good effort. I'll be adding that to the arsenal. Another thing I want to add to the arsenal, Mac, is when my ball is here, yeah. like here, yeah. where do I stand and what do I do with my legs and how do I hit it? Because the club's really long. I wouldn't stand anything. I would personally just stand here. Oh, is that what you do? Yeah. Oh, see, I tried to like, don't even know what. I'm yeah, like, so if you're here, don't over pop kit. You don't need to go like this. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, don't <laughs> uh, put it's it, stupid. Put it back in your stance. Put your feet a little bit more like towards the target. Keep this angle. Like you just hit forward. Yeah, so just keep the you're just gonna pop it out. What? No way you're gonna make that. Oh my god. Okay. This is really good to learn. Aim more um right. So feet turn your whole body so it's eight. No, that's left again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> okay, that's the next okay. lesson is going to be left and right. <laughs> and the pin is over there where um, Max wedges. Now I don't really know how to angle myself because I want to shoot that way, but my feet kind of, you know right. what I mean? I'd so have to stand here. Look where your club face is aiming. So a shot like this, you just have to be particular of where your club face is actually aiming. So right now your face is aiming this way. We need the face to aim towards the flag. So it doesn't matter where your stance is, oh, as really? long as your face is aiming where you want it to. So okay. move closer to it. Good, okay. Now I want you to feel like you draw a straight line to the target. So you're gonna feel like the club's almost coming more out. But what almost. about my elbow? You're good. I just do that? Yeah, just, just follow that line. So you're gonna have to feel like the club's coming more. So move closer to it, nice and close to it. Even a little bit closer, closer. Okay, and you're gonna feel like you come straight down. So even if it's doing Yeah, that's fine, it doesn't matter. It's gonna look weird. We don't care about technique. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, that was actually quite good. Oh, that was nearly on the bin. And like you said, when you were telling me about this earlier, you would have normally maybe tried to take a stance in the bunker. I would have gone straight in for this and then been like this and been like so that. I think the important thing is to remember that the club face, you can, as long as the club face is aiming where you need it to, you can take whatever stance you want, right? Yeah. It doesn't really matter where your feet are. My feet can be aiming this way, but if my face is this way, you can still. Interesting. Okay, that's a good tip. Let's get out of the bunker and let's get onto the Fairway. Let's go on to the course. This is another shot to add to your arsenal. Also one I have been known to do because I just always get behind trees. I'm like the most unlucky golfer. So this one here, like we can't see the pin at all. Obviously this tree's not overly big, but it's still enough where you have to turn it around it. So I'm a lefty, you're a righty. So we're gonna have to make a little bit of a heart yeah. shape in here where we hook it off. Um, so I'm going to go over my main feels when I'm hitting this shot. It's a shot that I am quite comfortable with. Anyone who follows me knows that I do like to shape the ball a little bit. As you can see, the pin's over to the right there. This tree is directly in, impeding that. We have about 150 yards. It's going to be hard for me to cut my pitching wedge. It's not going to fade. More loft generally isn't going to be as easy to fade. So I want to turn this over left to right. So what we're going to do is going to set up our feet white left, um, or for me left, for me it's gonna be right. We're gonna get our face quite shut. Now I don't need to shut my face because I do it in my swing, but if we're learning how to do this, I want you to feel like your face is very closed. Yeah. And all you're gonna do, feet, hips, shoulders, everything in line with where you want the ball to start. I want your club face to point where you want the ball to finish, okay? So you're gonna feel like that face is actually aiming directly at the target. My feet is going to be that start line of the trees on the left. And all I'm going to do is make a normal swing, swinging down my foot line. Oh my gosh, can you see that? So that's actually just right of the flag. So it's on the green. You and if you look, that? if you come over this way and look where my divot's aiming, it's aiming pretty much exactly where I wanted that to start, which was the left trees. And then my club face would have been dreaming directly where my club face or where I want that ball to finish. So I didn't have to change anything. I just made a normal swing and let the spin of the ball do what it's supposed to. So we're gonna aim your feet at the right trees there. Yeah. Maybe the, actually that lone pine tree. Aim your feet right there. If her feet are going this way, her club face, if I were to show this, is pretty much directly at the flag. And it so, feels uncomfortable, like it feels weird, but it works because you're hitting on your foot, foot line. line. So I'm going back here and I'm hitting around here. And the face is shut. And the face is shut and it's basically causing the spin on the ball round. I've actually done this shot quite a lot of times because I was like, when am I realistically gonna use this shot? Now I've got it in the locker. I need it so much and it's got me out of so many sticky situations and I freaking love it. Make sure you swing down your foot line. That's absolutely perfect. Glorious. Look at that thing. That is actually great. That actually might go in. Yeah, I love that. Such a good thing to learn and it's so easy. Before we taught this, you even said to me that you probably would have just been like, okay, don't know where I'm gonna go. You're gonna punch it out here and then you have 120 yards into the flag. Mm -hmm. Now you have a putt from the front of that green. Yeah, so. exactly. You need to add that to your locker because it's so good and it's so fun to play. All right, next one. We're gonna learn here driver off deck because I really wanna know how to use it. 
Why not I even use it? What situation? You wouldn't, but... No, you would, because you've told me to hit it off deck before. Yeah, I think, so because Mia doesn't carry a three wood, um, which we think we're going to change up because <laughs> I don't see why going to driver to seven wouldn't make a ton of sense. Uh, driver off deck, it can be used as a punch out method when you're under some trees and need to keep it really low and just get it long. out. Yeah, you can still like, and it can roll forever. It's not necessarily a practical shot. I think it's more of like a, it's a bit of enjoyment. A but flex. A practical. <laughs> yeah. So, but I think it's like a cool thing to know how to do. Um, so we're going to go over like a couple things to learn how to do it. Um, you'll see a lot of guys, there's actually a lady that used to play on the LPJ Tour, an English lady by the name of Laura Davies. Oh, really? And Laura Davies was the original driver up deck. She actually never uses a tee. What? She played her entire LPJ Tour career without using a tee. I think it's just like a weird stuff that Brits do. <laughs> so what she does is she makes, or takes an iron. So she literally takes an iron from her bag before she tees off, does one of those, and then she takes her club, perches it up, and oh makes my. like a little derp tee. It's obviously not as high as a normal tee, but this was what she does because for her, she needs the club to feel like it's in front of her on the downswing because she gets underneath it and she doesn't want to flip it. So she did this. I think she almost did it as like a um, way to keep it low in like the wind, yeah. and it just became like her shot. Really? So I've seen her do it in person. Um, so if I'm on the fairway though, obviously I can't do that. Yeah, but this is the easiest way to learn. So we're just doing this as oh, like the, yeah, I this see. isn't, this isn't obviously, you can't cheat in the fairway. So <laughs> technically this is like a forgiving driver off deck. From there, setup wise, you want to feel like you choke down in the club a little bit. This is something that's really important for me. Because this club's a little bit longer, it is hard to find the bottom of the club or the, like the bottom point of your swing. So I choke up about an inch to an inch and a half on the club. Why? Just because I don't want to bottom the club out early. Club's super long, so I like to play it like a three what wood is, line. Um, club out early? Sorry, it's a stupid Yeah, question. no, that's a smart question. I need to dumb it down. So, <laughs> uh, bottoming at the club early means the club would chunk because it's so long, you're at the bottom of the apex of your swing would end up being before the ball. Choke up on the club. From there, you're gonna open your stance up. So this is a big thing with driver off deck is you need to feel like, for me, because I'm a lefty, I need, need to aim right. Choking up on the club, and I think for me, I like the feeling of swinging down my foot line and keeping my face very still. Common thing with people with drivers, they shut the face. That's gonna de-loft it too much, causing the club, the ball to come out too low. You just can't get it airborne. Aim open, feel like you swing down your foot line and keep the loft of your club. So swing it like an iron? Yeah. Okay. Essentially like an iron. So I'm gonna start this over the trees here and cut it back. That's better than my normal driver shot. I hit a lot of driver off deck. It's like a shot that I actually find pretty useful for me. I, for the same reason as Laura Davies. So we're gonna get you to do Laura Davies first. Okay. Perfect. Okay, choke up on the club a little bit. So I need to move a bit forward then. Yeah, I'm exactly. Okay. Okay. Keep the loft of the club. So feel like Why you open it. Just, just trust me, because the ball is gonna slice it. Because you're hitting no loft, you cannot turn it left, right to left. You're but not really draw. But if it was up, would it hit left? Probably, yeah. Okay, so because it's flat on the floor. Yeah, right? you, you, no loft. You it's gonna slide. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Not bad. I'll take that for my first driver attempt. Oh, it's because I'm scared. No, that's the mat ball. No, I can grab that. <laughs> All right, so we've just changed tees because there's some late night golfers out and they're behind us. So we're coming to the ninth. I'm on the burn. And you know what? We're going to get rid of You're just going straight off the deck. How close are you putting me to this? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so open stance, so left, not wider, left. I'm going to grip down this much. Yeah, choke down a lot. Can you make a couple practice swings where you hit? I want you to brush the ground. You have to have the. Again, Mia was a little confused with what low point was. We need the driver head to essentially catch turf right here. It needs to be hit the bottom of the ground at the perfect time or else you're going to top it. So I want you to brush some grass in the practicing. Almost take a divot. Lots of ground here, a little bit of a divot. Good. More. There. That's perfect. Your low point of your swing there yeah. was here. Yeah. I want the low point to be here. There. That's the one. Okay. Step in and hit that. Low point. Just make a normal swing. Don't try to get up in the air. It's going to go low. You want it to go low. There we go. Oh, no. Nice. That was good. That literally... Find the way you yeah, said it was going, it's going to. to. That's 
That was so good. That would be, again, are I expecting you to hit driver off deck off the tee? Absolutely not. I'm gonna put you in a situation here, okay? We have this shot, You've, you're in a fairway or you're in a rough spot, but the rough isn't that long. Mm -hmm. Your ball comes up to rest here, it's just sitting on the, the deck. Your seven wood, you cannot keep it low. You wanna get a little bit more extra roll because we have a fairway in front of us. There's no hazards, there's no problems. Hit the driver yeah. and let it run. Okay, choke up, full swing as hard as you can, try to take it down. There we go. That was unreal. Wow. I quite like that. They kept low for longer. And it, Do you know actually, what I mean? It would be good for you even if you need to turn one left to right. That was really yeah. good. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so I know how to sling it that way, but one thing I struggled is how to sling it this yeah, way. Yeah, so this is a good way to learn it. Oh, I'm you, learning so many you things. You can make three good ones, because the last two have been good. They're both in the fairway, yeah. they both got out there. So if I put another one, again, this isn't, you can see it's not teed up, it's uh -huh. sitting on the grass. So I want you to aim down that tree line. Yeah. So it's a similar to what we did with the slinger shot earlier. Yeah. We aim our feet more left, yeah, good. Your start line is the tree. Yeah. And all you're trying to do here is keep your face kind of aiming to where you want the ball to finish on the follow through. You don't have to do it at the start. You just do it naturally. It will stay open. So good. Oh, pun. No, that's fine. We're going to go behind this tree right here. Yeah. Let's say you had a long distance to go. You could sling it, but you couldn't get it up. We're going to hit the driver. So let's go up there with oh, a couple balls. Oh, we're learning so much right now. Obviously, you may not need to use any of the shots that are in this on-course boot camp right now. But if you did want to kind of develop your game or just, I don't know, be able to feel certain shots or clubs or learn how to hit things differently, it's good to just know. Okay, so this is the shot I was hoping that we could try. So again, this is wispy rough. It's not that bad, right? Obviously we could sling it. Yeah. You have a pretty good lie. This isn't yeah. crazy. Left trees, so like up the left hill there, swing down your foot line and you can keep, feel like the face stays quite open. Okay. That's oh so good. my god. There you go. That was so handy. That was oh. long. Whoa. I know we're doing it with driver, but the same concepts would kind of work for a five iron, a six iron. You just have to you grip open down. your stance, choke up a little bit, swing down your foot line, and keep your face open. Let's go five iron. Just because we may as well link this into like more of a practical thing. We went slinger, why don't we go more of like a slicer cut? Because sometimes you don't have the option to hook it and you need to slice it, right? So any, basically any club, if you choke down, it's gonna make it go more right. It generally, it's more stance than anything. So hypothetically, there's a forest all down here. Yeah. You cannot sling it here. There's this just thick bush. OB. OB, but you, you're in play. Yeah. The only way to go is up the right or left, sorry, and cut it right. So you're gonna eight, open your feet up right. Good. You don't even have to open your face that much because it should still cut. So you can close it a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Swing down your foot line. It's weird because I have to close my face a lot for the. Yeah, so it's opposite. It, but I don't open my face up that much for no, the. No, this one will all cuts are a little bit with long irons, should cut naturally. Good. Oh my lord, that was amazing. See. That shot went so much higher than the driver shot, but they were executed very similarly. Yeah, so this one you could go higher, because obviously, again, the driver one's good if you need to keep it low. So it's tough finding exact spots. Situations. But yeah, yeah, if yeah. we were to pretend the driver one, the tree was quite low, you only had like 10 feet, mm. you could have kept it under. That one went a little bit higher, but it still had that same cut shape. So all we did, and I think this is the important thing, with shot shaping, it's a lot of setup, right? For the slinger, we were aiming very far right. Really close face. Right, and then for the, the, the slice or yeah. the slide, you kind aim very left. Yeah. yeah, but I would, you can experiment. You gotta find what works for you. But I think swinging down your foot line and not changing your actual swing is important. Does make sense? I'm mind blown in all honesty. I'm mind blown that you just taught me and I'm also mind blown I've just managed to execute it without it being like really difficult. I'm impressed with the driver off deck because generally speaking, <laughs> it's not exactly a shot that we teach. You insisted that you wanted to learn it. I did. And you pulled it off and I think that's, sh I mean, it's a fun thing. You saw how enjoyable it is when you do yeah, pull it off. it's so fun. It's just another shot you can add to 
repertoire, if maybe you do get in that situation one out of every 7,000 rounds you play, Doesn't but matter. it might happen. You know how to do it now. So. Still so fun. Mac, thank you so much for our on-course boot camp today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have learned something because I feel like it's just fun to experiment, really. It's on the course, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's always fun to broaden your abilities to do mm. stuff on the golf course. Obviously, golf is a challenging sport, so having a different amount of repertoire to yeah. dabble into once in a while is a lot of fun. And also, I wouldn't say I'm, like, the best golfer in the world, because I'm obviously not, but, like, the fact that even I can execute it means that even probably you can execute it. It might take a few tries. I obviously just got very lucky out here today where I hit some shots and they happened to go well quite quickly. But like, it's definitely something that you could do. I think just, it I mean, for me, it's having that understanding of how to do these shots. At least now you know that if there's a tree in front of you, you can't sling it and you need to hit a slice. You maybe mm. have the tools to try it at least. It might not pull off every mm. single time, but at least you know how to try. Yeah, right? and you can try it on the range as well. So like you say, okay, I'm gonna point my feet to that pin and I want it to end to that pin over there. Yeah, and it's uh, pretty easy, really. It's so easy. Mac, thank you so much no. for helping us today. Guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously, like Mac said earlier, if there's any particular interesting, weird and wonderful shots you'd like to learn, put it in the comments and then next time Mac and I are together, we can try and get through some of those. See what country that is. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video and I will catch up with you very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>